I'm going to show you how you can use Rundeck to automatically fix a problem that's triggered by an alert in PagerDuty. So I'm actually going to use Rundeck to create an incident in PagerDuty. So we run this job here and then we'll go over to PagerDuty and we see that this is a list of all incidents. I'm going to refresh this and see the new incident. And I see the incident, but it's already resolved. If I click on this incident, I can see that it's resolved. And then there's a note that was added by Rundeck. Problem was resolved by Rundeck. So let's take a look at the Rundeck logs so you can see what shows up in the Rundeck logs. Here I've created the incident, and here's the job that automatically ran that restarted the service. So if I click on this, and click log output here, I can see the incident was changed to resolved after it restarted the service. So now let's go and see what's behind the scenes, see how I set it up. If we look at the job here on the workflow tab, I've got a couple options. I'm passing the name of the service over to Rundeck. Uh, that's in order to actually restart the correct service. The API key and the incident ID is getting passed. Now here's the script that restarts the uh, service. And then here's the two steps that add the note and then resolve the incident in PagerDuty. Now if I follow the instructions on the one-time setup here in our documentation, you can see I create a webhook and then I go into PagerDuty and set that webhook to be used. So here on the project screen, if I click on webhooks, I can see that this restart service webhook is tied to use a rule that then triggers a job, the same job that I ran, and that's uh, the linkage between the two. In PagerDuty, if I go to Configuration Services, I create a service here, in this case uh, SpaceCat, and I use the New Service button and set up the linkage on the PagerDuty side. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.